One in eight women in the U.S. will develop breast cancer at some point in her lifetime, and some patients have a genetic variant that increases their risk of getting that disease. Breast cancer survivor Lindsay Levingston joins us now with more. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Elsa. How are you? I'm doing well, and I'm happy to have you here. I want to jump right into it and ask you if you can share a little bit about your breast cancer journey and your motivation behind Survive Her. Absolutely. So while working in New York City uh, in TV news, during the summer of July 2019, uh, while taking a shower, I felt a lump in my right breast. And I knew that something wasn't right. So I immediately scheduled my well woman exam. And during that exam, my OB-GYN ordered my very first mammogram at the age of 37. So I had a mammogram, a 3D mammogram and a breast ultrasound and a biopsy. That biopsy determined that I am triple negative, uh, I was diagnosed rather with triple negative breast cancer stage 2B. So that is an aggressive subtype of breast cancer. And I hopped on a one way to back home to Houston, which is where I reside, my hometown, to start treatment immediately. My breast surgeon laid out a plan, 15 rounds of chemotherapy, uh, a lumpectomy to remove the mass from my breast, and six weeks of radiation, which is a traditional treatment plan for some breast cancer patients. Well, midway during my chemotherapy journey and talking to a cousin on my dad's side of the family, she told me that she carries the BRCA1 gene mutation. She's a breast cancer survivor, and she highly recommended that I take a genetic test. And so that's what I did. Uh, through Invite. I took a medical genetic test, and that test revealed that I carry the BRCA1 gene mutation. What does that mean? I was at high risk, a very high risk for breast and ovarian cancers. So that immediately changed the trajectory of my surgical plan, my treatment plan. So after 15 rounds of chemotherapy, I rang the bell. And uh, two months later, I had a bilateral breast mastectomy. That means that both of my breasts were removed and through breast reconstruction replaced with implants. After that, I had another procedure to remove my ovaries and fallopian tubes to reduce my risk of ovarian cancer. So had it not been for early detection and taking action when I felt that lump and that medical genetic test through Invitae, my prognosis would likely have been negative. So it's so important that we know our family history. And so uh, Elsa, during the course of my journey, I learned so much information that I created a platform, my nonprofit, Survive Her, to inform, inspire, and empower women and men too around breast cancer awareness and wellness during Breast Cancer Awareness Month and beyond, because men and women are affected by this disease, this chronic illness every day of the year. And so it's, it's so um, I'm passionate about keeping it top of mind, making it a priority to keep this top of mind and to encourage women not only to get their annual mammograms, men should be getting their annual physicals too, but also knowing your family history, know what's in your DNA. And so I've partnered with Invite during this month to educate people. So for me, what it did was change the trajectory of my surgical plan. So if, if I move forward with the lumpectomy just to remove a little bit of breast tissue, I would have proceeded with those my breast and it's likely that breast cancer would have recurred in at some point in my life again, but by removing both breasts that drastically reduced any chance of recurrence. So knowing that key information about my DNA and what was happening in my body was significant and critical. And this goes for any disease, whether it's sickle cell or a breast cancer, any cancer that genetic test will inform you to make preventative life-changing measures and decisions. And what advice do you have for other black women like myself when it comes to taking control over your health? Make it a top priority. Just as much as we schedule our hair appointments, our nail appointments, happy hour brunch, let's schedule our mammograms. Let's stay on top of it. And October is the month to do so. And where can we go for more information? Absolutely. So for the medical genetic test, you can log on to Invite, I-N-V-I-T-A-E dot com. And to check out my nonprofit, you log on to I'm a survive her dot com. 
All right, Lindsay Levinson, thank you so much for sharing your journey and all the work that you're doing. We really appreciate so it. Much, and we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.